Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about the first problem from the lead code bi-weekly contest 107. So let's start. The first problem is find maximum number of a string pair. So the problem statement goes like this, that you are given a zero indexed array words, as you can see in the input here, consisting of distant strings. Now your overall target is that you have to find out pairs such that you have to take out a pair of words from this particular array, that is word of i and word of j such that the string word of i is equal to the reverse string of word of j. So if you just say that the string word of i is equal to the reverse string of word of j, okay? So like you can either like reverse any, anything, like either reverse words of i is equal to the words of j or words of i reverse is equal to words of i, okay? So in simple terms like one string reverse is equal to the other string. That is actually a valid pair. You just have to find out the maximum number of pairs that are actually following this particular condition and that's it. That's the complete thing. So uh, as you can see the complete, like you can see the constraints are pretty much small. So you can just directly do them in a, in a very brute force way. In which what you will do is that you will take every possible pair of elements. And among all these pairs, you just find out that whether if I reverse one of the strings, will it be equal to the other uh, string in the pair that I'm trying to form. If it is, then you will just print out and they keep on incrementing the answer. And then in the end, just print out answer. Let us check out in the code part now. So what we have done is that we have taken this as a variable to store a total number of count of what all pairs are valid. Then iterate over every possible pair of you can say strings. Then call this OK function that will take this ith and jth word and check that whether it was forming a pair that is valid. Now what we are doing in this OK function, it is returning a boolean that it is uh, OK or not in which I have taken the A string and reversed it and just check that whether A is equal to B after reversing A. If it is, then just return a true or else return false. And if it is returning true, then the answer is incremented by one and the end just print a total number of answer. That's it. That's the complete logic in the code part for this particular problem. That's a very simple problem. Nothing as complicated here, but we'll keep moving down to the harder problems in this particular context as well. So stay tuned on this particular channel. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I will see you in the next one, the key coding and bye.